In this problem, we have to find the values of a and b that make this function differentiable everywhere. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. Let's start by using the fact that we want it to be differentiable. So let's go ahead and take the derivative of f. So f prime of x. So we can easily specify a formula for the derivative of x as long as we exclude 0. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And this is for x less than 0. And here the derivative of this will simply be a, because the derivative of b is 0 and a is a constant. So uh, the derivative of x is 1, so we're left with a. And this is for x greater than or equal to 0. So we want um, these to be the same uh, at 0. So we want differentiability at 0. So we want negative sine of 0 to be equal to a, right? We want both of these functions to be the same at 0 because this is the derivative, so we need them to be the same, and we want this to be equal to f prime of 0. We want to define it. We're trying to create a differentiable function. Well, the sine of 0 is 0, so that means a is equal to 0. So we have our a. So now we need to find b. So in order to find b, we're going to have to do something else because we've already used the derivative. So recall that if you have a differentiable function, it's also continuous. So now let's invoke continuity. So for a function to be continuous, it has to be continuous everywhere when we say it's continuous. So this function by itself is continuous, and so is this one down here. The only possible issue where continuity might fail is at 0. So let's force continuity at 0. So in order for it to be continuous at 0, one of the conditions is that the limit must exist. In particular, that implies that the one-sided limits must exist and be the same. So let's take one-sided limits. Let's start by taking the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. When we're approaching from the left, x is smaller than 0. That means we use the top piece here in the piecewise function. So we have the cosine of x. Cosine is a continuous function. This is an easy limit. You just plug in the 0. So you get cosine of 0, which is equal to 1. If we take the limit from the right, as x approaches 0, we have ax plus b. And again, we just plug in 0, so we get a times 0 plus b. And a is already 0 anyway, so we just get b. We want the limit to exist, therefore b must be equal to 1. And that's it. We found the values of a and b that make this function differentiable everywhere.